Hi there, 3DP UK here, just with a quick cure of, um, video. Um, now I'm using my profile, the 3DP UK Cobra Max profile. Um, I've also set up my um, Cura machine with my Cobra Max. Now you won't find that in there. Any Cubic haven't updated it. You can use the Viper, but me and myself, I've used the, um, the version where you can create it yourself. If you look at my video earlier on, um, just like and subscribe and you'll be able to see that. Today, I just want to show you just quickly what I'm using with my profile. Now, with my profile, it's set up for PLA. This was actually um, the baseline that I used was from Studio Zombie 3D. So thank you to Will for just giving me the baseline to work with, which is kind of what I'm doing now for for my, my followers, um, what I've been getting with the Cobra Max. Now I've had excellent prints and had zero issues with adhesion or with the actual line quality. I'm happy with what I've got. So I just want to share that with you guys now. Now, I use a layer height of 0.2. I mostly do that for quick um, quality type products. So if I do a 1 point, a 0 0.1, that tends to be for more um, specific items such as like detailed items. But um, I very re rarely do 0 0.3. If I try to, I go between 0 0.2 and 0 0.8, oh, sorry, 0 0.28. Um, I always do my initial height at 0 0.3. Um, I don't change my uh, Z, offset on my machine itself for some reason i'm happy with what i've got i don't have any problems there and the wall thickness uh, 0.8 and the wall line count three um, scrolling down uh 25 infill density for this calibration cube that we're using today um temperatures i'm going for 190 because i'm using the any cubic white pla now they do specify on the product between 200 and 230 degrees, but I find that that doesn't you know, get a lot of stringing, doesn't really work and I get a lot of stringing from that. So I go for 190. Um, my build plate, I'm happy with 50 degrees. Now on my old Anycubic Mega Pro, which is the same type of adhesion plate, I used to have to go up to about 70 degrees, but for some reason, because of the, um, the, the actual center that we use on it, so it, the actual setup for it is is perfect so i go for 50 on that um my flow is at 92 percent i've already calibrated my e-steps check my video out how to do that i know that there's quite a few people out there that say that you don't really need to do that but ever since i've done it um i've had perfect quality prints and just before that i was slightly out you could tell that there was a bit of um mislayering um so if we scroll down uh, I've got the print speed at 60 as my main speed, um, infill speed at 60 as well, um, outer wall at 35, inner wall 60, top and bottom speed 40, travel speed 160. Now, when you're traveling, go as fast as possible. You know, um, as long as your uh, Z hop is quite high, lifts it out of the way, no problems there. Um, my retraction distance is four millimeters. Um, and retraction speed is at 40 millimeters a second. So um, also uh, the avoid distance is 0.625 mil. Like I say, you can get all these details. Just request it in my link tree. I'm happy to share my profile. No issues at all. Um, it works for me, might not necessarily work for you, but it's certainly a good baseline. As I said, Studio Zombie did the same for me. Um, mesh fixes I've gone for um a 0.15 overlap a 0.5 resolution and a 0.5 travel resolution with a maximum deviation of 0.025 um now that works for me um this particular model is like i said it's a calibration cube um it's going to take 18 minutes so we're going to head over to the printer and um see how it comes out thank you see you in a minute
Okay, so um, that was the calibration cube printed on the Anycubic Cobra Max. As you can see, it took uh, 22 minutes and it's cooled down now. So we're just gonna take that off. Nice and easy, no issues. You've got the skirt, it literally comes up straight away, as you can see, um, no marks. And the quality, as you can see, is very, very good. And uh, you can you see there's, um, the layer lines are really good. Um, you can see that the X and the Y, no issues at all there. Sorry about the poor camera. But um, yeah, as you can see, that's, um, that's done a very, very good job. Um, the layer lines are perfect and um, very happy with that cube. Uh, calibrating your E-steps definitely does help. Making sure that the flow is correct also helps. Um, yeah, very happy with that. And that was on the Anycubic Cobra Max using the calibration cube from Fingerverse. And um, yeah, like I say, 22 minutes on there using my Cura settings on the 4.12. Um, that's what I would suggest using. Like I say, click on my link tree, request access to my Cura profile, and you are more than welcome to have that. Um, you will need to make changes to the settings, um, and but you would find that with most um, Cura profiles that you would have to just adapt it to your profile. Um, yeah, and that's it. And that's um, 3DP UK, just with a quick update on the Cura. Um, it was just a, um, an update on on top of the one that I brought out a few weeks ago. Um, but any questions, drop a um, comment in the description, in the comment section, sorry. And um, like and subscribe. Um, I'm here to help. Take care, everyone. Bye.